Hi there folks, Uncle Troy here. Have you ever had a situation where you've uh, created a, a video with your webcam or maybe uh, some video gaming footage? Uh, everything seemed fine until you uploaded it to YouTube when suddenly it was all, say, bad. Uh, let's say there was no color whatsoever, or perhaps the colors were kind of murky, or perhaps the slightest bit of darkness on the screen suddenly meant the whole video went like completely unwatchable, or even that the video went completely black. And then sometimes this would come and go and come and go, no rhyme or reason, just sometimes it would appear. And you would go back and you'd say, hmm, let's look at my original video files. They seem fine. Let's look at the preview of my uh, video editing software. That looks fine. And then you'd say, okay, let's look at the uh, finished rendered product just before I uploaded it to YouTube. That looked fine, and yet it comes out dark, muddy, or even pitch black on YouTube, or inconsistent. Sometimes it's some way, sometimes it's another. Uh, here's what I think the problem is. I think it's a problem with what, what I call color space, even though I'm sure that's not the exact correct word for it. That uh, the uh, video, the way the video file format uh, interprets color, uh, it has a certain value for, say, black, a certain value for, say, the green screen behind me, a certain value for flesh tones or whatever, and every video format may have a different way of arranging that data to make the color space, uh, chrominance and luminance, luminance and uh, red, green, and blue values, all sorts of stuff that I'm not qualified to even think about, let alone discuss. So I just call it color space. And what I think what happens is that uh, fraps or whatever uh, software you're using to record the video for the game or your uh, webcam software or whatever uses a certain color space. And then you load that file it creates into your video editing software. And then the video editing software has its own color space, so it tries to convert the file it's, it's uh, loading into its color space to make its colors all perfect. Then when it goes time to render the file to create your output file that you're going to upload to uh, YouTube, the output file may have a different color space. And then when you upload that file to YouTube, uh, YouTube has its own file, internal file format, which may be a yet another color space. And I think somewhere along the lines, uh, especially in that very last step, uh, the, uh, the color space information gets mangled, and that's why you end up with black and white videos, videos with muted color, uh, videos that just go pitch black for no reason. And so I think that's what happens, is you got the wrong color space in there. And you would think the way to fix this would be in that very last step, you know, when you're rendering the video, uh, use a different video settings, a different video format. And I've tried that, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. So here's something I've, I've stumbled upon by accident. There is a program called Handbrake. And all Handbrake does is converts older, less good archaic, whatever you want to call it, uh, video file formats into more recent file formats. It's very good at that. That's all it does, but it does it very well. And I found that it makes my videos a little brighter, a little peppier, I think because it uses a different color space that my editing software and then later YouTube software can actually um, convert more readily. I don't know how to explain it. More compatible. There's your good word. So what I do is when I download, or when I not download, when I create a video with my webcam software or uh, something I record with Fraps video game software, the very first thing I do is I run it through Handbrake to create a MP4H.264 or something like that uh, video file. And then I edit, load that into my editor. That's what I edit, that's what I render from, and that's what I upload to YouTube. And somehow changing the color space, or the file encoding format, whatever you want to call it, changing that early in the process, for some reason, makes the final step where it's uploaded to YouTube and converted to their own format work better. I do not know why, I do not know how. That does not make any sense whatsoever. I just know that my videos went from looking like this to looking like this. And I hope you can see a difference there. I can.
and I get fewer comments about how my videos are dark and mysterious and you can't see anything and use more torches I can't see anything you're doing in the caves so uh, my suggestion is if you're a YouTuber and sometimes your videos come out dark or with muted colors or come out black altogether uh, try using handbrake to process the files before you even get started loading them into your editor um, that works for me that also cuts out some other problems I have sometimes my video editing software does not like to even load the files I'm trying to load and sometimes it says oh this video format or this audio format is supported but not internally we have to convert it and create 14 uh, temporary files that you'll forget to down you'll forget to uh, delete later so you know it just helps out all around uh, also the uh, the standard file format it uses a mp4 is much smaller than say the uncompressed file formats that, that fraps and my video uh, software other video software likes to create so you know that's a win there because it frees up more disk space I don't have to edit my videos right away to free up space so I can do more gaming videos so like I said try out for uh, not fraps try out handbrake and uh, see what you think and I'll try to have uh, some information about handbrake and a link to the website in the description below so this is Uncle Troy signing out please have a good night